today I'm doing some Christmassy slow stitching. Some assembly required. I don't know about you, but I occasionally find this time of year to be just the tiniest bit stressful. Trying to get everything done and making it magical. So I'm engaging in some forced, crafty relaxation. I haven't done any slow stitching in a while, so I'm thinking of using some leftover materials to make something Christmas lightsy. It's kind of like collage, but with fabric and some mindful stitching. Let's see how it goes. I've started out putting this fun woodsy fabric into an embroidery hoop, and then I made some sketches. They're pretty rough, so I don't get too stuck in my idea, but at least I have something to start with. My sister has given me a bunch of upholstery sample swatches, and I have some fabric from my stash, so I'll cut out some bulb shapes from all these fabrics and then see how they look together. First, I cut the biggest shapes out of the darker fabrics. And then a smaller shape from a lighter color. And finally, a white highlight. This gray seems like it should be fine for the uh, little part that attaches to the wire. It probably has a name. Ha! Ah, they look cute! Who knew that little bit would be the key? I guess the next logical step is arranging everything on the hoop. Will it all fit? Huh, who knows? I think I'll use this white ribbon for the light wire. I was originally thinking I would just embroider the line, but I think it gives it more texture. Okay, let's find a good arrangement. This seems good to me. Let's pin it. Woo! Super stabby. The next thing I'm planning to do is tack each bulb down with the white embroidery floss where the highlight is. This should keep everything where I put it without relying so much on the pins, which are gonna totally get in the way. It's at this point that I remember I wasn't going to slow stitch in an embroidery hoop the next time I did it. But here we are! Maybe I'll reevaluate once I'm finished tacking everything down. But it is working for now. Great! All the highlights and the ribbon are attached. Now I'll use gray to sew all the silvery whatever we're calling them so I can get rid of the pins. I think it looks pretty good so far. Now that I'm finished with the fussy business of tacking everything down, I can use some colorful floss to stitch these guys on securely and hopefully make them pretty. I'm going to stitch the darker part first and try to follow the curvy edge shape with my lines. My hope is that this will help them look kind of 3D.
there we are. All the dark pieces are stitched. Some of the thread may be matched too well, and you can't really see them. That's all right. Now I'm using these lighter threads to stitch over the light section. I'm also going to try to add a few stitches outside the bulb to look like they're glowing. Maybe. Hopefully. Hmm, these red colors are not super different looking. And some glow. Kind of cool. Maybe a little more? Ooh, yeah, I like that skinny little extra row. That's the ticket. Okay, let me do some more. This is a great time for a podcast, some festive music or a not particularly action-packed movie, because it isn't super quick, but that's kind of the point. It is slow stitching. It's supposed to be slow and meditative. I love how it turned out. Some of them look a little glowy. Others do not. It is definitely not a perfectly realistic depiction of a string of Christmas lights, but that's okay. That's not what it's for. We've seen pictures of Christmas lights. This is something else. It's cute. I like all the textures and I like how some of it pops over the edge of the hoop. I don't know why. I was gonna tuck it in, but I like how it looks like this. I just finished the back with a little circle of cardboard that I cut out and you just squish it in. And there you have it! Now I feel a little bit more relaxed, accomplished, and ready to tackle all the rest of my chores. <laughs> have a gentle holiday. I heard that the other day and I think that it's kind of nice. Do what you can do. Nothing has to be perfect. Have fun. Be awesome, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye!